The Ma'apilim, by definition, are Jews who immigrated during the British mandate before the establishment of the state in an illegal manner. The British imposed restrictions on immigration, the white papers, and gave certificates only to a certain number of Jews. Jews who didn't receive certificates and still wanted to immigrate did so illegally, mostly on boats but also by land and air. So we're here at the Ma'apilim detention camp in Atlit. What would you say are the main things that we learn here? This place is in essence a detention camp. The British brought the illegal immigrants here and placed them here until they were released, mostly to the land of Israel. What we can learn in this place is about the strong history of the land of Israel. This is a piece of the puzzle. We tend to say that if there is the expression from Holocaust to revival, this place symbolizes the revival, how illegal immigrants came here, both from Europe as well as from Arab states, and here they built a home for themselves, established families, built Jewish labor, and this place symbolizes the strength of the Jewish aliyah to Israel, the immigration, also the illegal one, but mostly the will and the desire to establish a state. This item is the most exciting item in the camp, in my opinion. We said the camp was destroyed, and these are planks that were found several decades ago and are the only actual remnants of the camp. We call this the Facebook because it's like the Facebook, the immigrants who came here, the Mapilim, their families didn't know what happened to them. After the Holocaust, there was a lot of uncertainty. It wasn't known if people were alive, and if so, where. Every immigrant who came here carved his name. So if someone, a friend, an acquaintance, a relative comes here, they'll know that person is alive, and not only that, he lives in Israel. One of the things that you can't help but feel and notice here is that things look a lot like what the Jews knew in Poland. There are showers, which are here real showers. There are crowded rooms, though they live here and don't die. But what happened in terms of the trauma when the people came here? We put an emphasis exactly on this, in order to understand the difficulties and the hardships of the Mapilim. Here too, it wasn't easy. We explained the similarities between the camps in the Holocaust and this camp, which also has fences and foreign soldiers, and also has an unpleasant disinfection process. However, it is important to emphasize here that this camp is a camp which symbolizes life and revival. With all the similarities to the camps in Europe, similarities which are undeniable, this camp symbolizes something completely different. So finally tell us about this big and impressive ship behind you. This ship Galina was brought from Latvia and in essence gives a feeling to whoever is inside into what it was like to immigrate with the Mapilim to Israel. There's an excellent interactive display here, a multimedia display of movies, puppets for the whole family. Very enjoyable. It explains the story of the Hapala, of the Mapilim, and gives us, the visitors, the feeling of how it's like to be a Mapil. This was the goal when it was brought here a few years ago. They wanted to give the other part of the immigration story, not just the part of what it was like to live here in the camp, but also what it was like to immigrate with all that that entails, the difficulties, the difficult hygiene, the crowdness, and with that also about the power, the togetherness, and the will and aspiration without giving up to the British to enter Israel. And that's the story that this amazing ship gives.